Little Kaiju, how we doing buddy? You look so good on camera, Kaiju, wow. Look at you. What is good, Aquatics crew? So our boy Kaizen just successfully molted. Now a mantis shrimp molting is a very stressful time for the animal and the owner because this is the most common time for it to actually die. They undergo a lot of stress during this time and you could do everything right and it still goes wrong. So in this video, I'm gonna help you guys with everything you need to know about a mantis shrimp molting. That means signs of him about to molt, how to help him actually get through his molt, and what happens after he successfully molts. Also, if you don't know, a crustacean molting is just like a snake shedding its skin, so they're gonna be getting a new shell. But hopefully I help you guys out in this video so we can get our homies back to hugging crabs again. And yes, algorithm, it's hugging, get off my back. So these are the signs that your mantis shrimp is about to molt. These aren't gonna happen in any particular order, but this is just what you gotta look out for. Number one, and being the probably most dominant sign, is them not eating. Out of nowhere, they stop eating. I would say that it could be sickness, but more than likely, it's them preparing for a molt. Especially if you see it with sign number two, being them reworking their cave. So when mantis shrimps molt, they'll kind of like build up their cave and almost cover, it, almost cover the holes completely. Um, to make sure that they feel comfortable while they're in that vulnerable state. And the third sign is being a little bit less adventurous when you see them doing the other two things. Uh, they might come out to like, you know, look for some shells and some rocks, but for the most part, they will stay in their caves way more often than they normally would. So now if you're noticing your mantis shrimp giving these signs if he's getting ready to molt, here's how you can help him get through it. Again, this is a very stressful time for them, so there are a couple of ways for you to make this a more comfortable process for them. And you can even do these things a little bit post molt as well. So number one being keep the lights off in the tank. They don't really need this too much anyway, but when the lights are off, they feel way less vulnerable, you know, way less exposed. Um, I even put a towel on top. It's not really covering the tank right now, but usually I'll cover the tank with the towel to make it a little bit extra dark. Uh, just because it makes them more comfortable. Another thing you can do is dose your tank with iodide. Not iodine, iodide, very different things. If you look up like reef iodide, you can find exactly what I'm talking about and you should be dosing the tank with this anyway. Uh, it helps in reef tanks and other fish tanks with crustaceans molting in general. So definitely healthy for these guys. You just need to read the directions and be careful with it because you can definitely overdose the tank with it and it can become very toxic very quickly, but if done right, you should be fine. And other little extra things I like to do is I just don't like to, you know, poke my head in all the time and annoy them, tap on the glass, things like that. Just extra things that can cause them extra stress. I just try to avoid doing, you know, sometimes I'll like annoy him, I'll tap on the glass or whatever, but when he's molting, I don't do that. So now if your mantis shrimp successfully molted and he's good to go, uh, here's what a post molt will look like. Some people take the molt out of the tank, which is okay. Uh, some people make art with it or something like that. That's your choice if you want to do that. I like to keep the molt in the tank because the mantis shrimps will actually eat their molt and it's very healthy for them. It's a good source of calcium and it'll help them build up their new shell that they're going to be forming. Because speaking of a new shell, um, their shell is going to be very soft for at least a couple days up to two weeks after molting. So they're still going to be hiding for quite a little bit once they're done because they're going to be soft shelled. So they're going to feel like they need that extra bit of protection. They're not ready to go out and hunt yet. And another reason I like to keep their shell in there for them to eat it is because uh, the usual things that I feed them are crabs. Like you guys know, those are hard bodied animals and stuff. So uh, they can't really use their clubs to attack anything. So I usually will give them either soft food, of course, for a little bit and let them eat their molt because um, that's something that they can eat other than like a crab. So just a couple more notes that I want to add is that mantis shrimps molt about roughly every two months. So it could be a little bit more, it could be a little less. Also the actual molting process can take, well the, the internet says it could take up to about 12 hours. Um, I've seen some stories where people say that they haven't seen their mantis shrimp in days hiding in their cave. So if yours is taking a little while, don't be too worried. Just give him his space, do what you got to do, and uh, I think he'll be all right. So that was just about everything you guys really need to know about the mantis shrimp molting process. I hope it was interesting. I hope it helped you guys out a lot. Hit the bell, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. It really goes a long way for me. Thank you guys again, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.